It looks like Tidus has got something to say as well. Defend the wall. There you are. I was asked to pass you a message from Rurik. There's trouble at the Great Northern Wall, and they'd like your help. Zachary is waiting for you. One thing before you go. Since Althea's disappearance, the prince has grown increasingly reckless. Be careful. Ascalon needs you in one piece. What he's talking about here with Althea is there was a quest I was going to take us on, but I wanted to keep moving, so I didn't do it in the end. Uh, Althea is this girl he was dating or courting, um, and now she and now she's gone missing. So he's gone a bit he's gone a little bit crazy. Let's just leave it at that. I'll take care of it. All right, first we'll go find the ambassador. Oh, the king's here. I didn't know you could speak to the king here. I wonder where he's going. Oh, well, I'll leave him for now. And Warmaster Grass is still alive. This was the guy who was at the the temple two years ago. Uh, not the temple, sorry, a giant statue of Balthazar. Now uh, you can help me kill these devourers. Since I don't have a Lessia anymore. I'm gonna have to use all the allies I can get. Ah, oh, these things are so annoying, they, they block. Alright, okay. Warmaster Grast, there, is there no end to these blasted gar gargoyles? You there, what do you want? Gargoyles? A true warrior's got to be tough to survive in Ascalon after the searing. You've got to show me some prowess in battle before I acknowledge you as a true warrior. Defeating five of these shatter or flash gargoyles should be a true test of your metal. Can you handle it? He's just going to give me skills that I've already got. But it should be no problem. I, uh... I think I just missed an important conversation between the king and um, Prince Rurik since they're walking off. Oh well, I'll go speak to them again later. Anyway, we'll speak to the ambassador. Keep getting distracted. Well done, my friend. You have done a great and merciful deed this day. I hope that this is is the first step towards our two nations becoming allies. Got two new skills: mending, which gives us constant which makes our health constantly recharge and for great justice which gets us a lot of adrenaline. I quite like that skill so we'll equip that. Anyway let's kill some of these gargoyles. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, awesome. Completed the quest and leveled up at the same time. Uh, I didn't get enough attribute points to even raise anything though. So I'll just put it into strength, which raises my damage. Um... Oh no, I'm going to die. Unless I'm not careful. Run! Run for the hills! Alright, good stuff, he stopped following me. Whew. Well done. I'll admit you did better than I expected. Well done. Yeah, good. Alright, we've got one new skill. Um, Wild Blow. It always critical hits and it removes the stance. I'm not that interested in it. Hmm, okay, alright. We have something of a military emergency taking place. When Baradin and his vanguard broke through the char lines to Pekin Square, they created a weak point in our own line. Our scouts report that the Char forces are massing to try and break through the breach and we've not enough men to, in place to stop them. We need to reassign our forces quickly. If you are willing, I'd, take, I'd like you to gather up a patrol that has been watching the road in Regent Valley. The patrol leader is Sergeant Clark. I'll need you to bring him here and his men back to me for reassignment. What say you? Alright, this will get us power attack and sprint, which are two pretty good skills. That 
I'll probably want, so you can count on me, sir. Um, but for the moment, I know that quest is going to be very hard for me to do alone. So, I think what I'm going to do is, and I don't want to do this too much, but I'm going to not film it and just grind on stuff outside here and level up to level 10 or 11. Okay, actually, uh, I've decided to film a little bit of it. I'll do like some kind of a weird montage thing. Um, because I'm going to be going a little bit of a way. Behind this uh, Crichton camp here is... Hold on, I'll kill this guy. Okay, so yeah, um, behind this Crichton camp is that place, Ashford Abbey. Um, and around there, there's a lot of enemies that are reasonably easy to kill. But there's a lot of them, and I, I figure I'm just gonna just keep fighting them, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'll, you, I'll do a fast motion through these hills so you can see where I'm going. Alright, so here it is, as you can see it's an absolute crap hole like everywhere else, but uh, it's still standing at least. It's now called Sardelic Sanitarium. And the catacombs are blocked off. So there's a big rock in front of it. I think the idea is that they've all caved in. Necromancer immune or Mun, whatever you want to call her, is still here. And... yeah. I'm just going to be outside here killing stuff, so... Yeah, wasn't that magical? That represents about maybe four hours of my life, just, you know, condensed into a couple of seconds. Uh, anyway, so now we're level 10. Yay, let's all have a big party. I've put um, most of it all into Axe Mastery and some into Strength, which will just raise my damage a bit through people's armour. Uh, and now we can give this uh, quest a shot. But um, before we do this, uh, try and escort these people, um, let's pimp up our armour and stuff, let's get some better equipment. So, we're back to Ascalon. And we'll speak to the armour guy. Now I've got a little bit of money from my bank, I've now got 20k. Uh, to spend. There's two armor people. Cool. We can pick which one we like most. Uh, yeah, I've got 20k to spend. And uh, it's very cheap, this stuff, at the moment. But let's splash out anyway. Right, so we need uh, iron ingots and a little bit of money for each. So we'll get some Ascalon boots and leggings and stuff. Why not? Alright, so. Let's find the material guy. Just go ahead and buy some of these. I'll buy two bunches of ten. Actually, let's see what this other armor guy's got to sell. Is it all the same? Oh, he sells lots of different helmets with armor of 50. This guy sells armor of 35. Alright, so we should get the armor of 50 stuff. Alright. Fuck you, Banoit. Banoit. What a lovely name. Alright, Corbin. Uh, armor of 50, so let's get us a gladiator helmet, which will give us plus one axe mastery. And we'll get an Ascalon Curace. Some Ascalonian gauntlets. Leggings and boots. Very nice. All right, let's put put this stuff on. Ta-da! It's actually the same armor, just in a different color. But there you go. What are you gonna do? All right, uh, I'm gonna quickly pause it now because I'm gonna buy a lot of runes and try and spice up the armor and make it nice and good. So 